saying if you're here you're entertaining me so therefore i think you care <laughs> i actually think you care and you want to hear about my earphone is through my ear my my hoop um you're letting me know that you care okay so whether or not you do i am receiving it that way so call it delusion delusional 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 thought processing here um but it's just you know what i mean it's just the way it is it's just the way it is right now so um you guys always give me wonderful feedback you guys give me your thoughts and you guys some of you comment on how much you resonate with the poems um and you just relax to them or you love you know playing them in the background or i have a few people that go all out i literally pin i think this one person i hope i highlight them or they'll probably comment and i'm gonna pin them again they always are like my favorite comment under these types of videos they go all out all out they take they give me their favorite timestamps and they go the full mile on like and it just like my my little writer's heart explodes with so much love and support like i can't handle it i can't handle it so there's something to be said about just making asmr videos and then making these asmr videos where i read you guys my poetry because it's like i'm sharing you like a little bit of my 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 i feel like my true self a little bit of my heart and soul um and when you guys respond to that that means the world to me caesar he is behind my tv and i'm so scared he's gonna knock it over cats aren't that strong are they i do have a breakable face behind that tv <laughs> um what are you what are you doing buddy what are you doing, buddy? Meow, meow, meow. What are you doing, buddy? Meow? Where are you at? You're so tiny. Oh, he's scratching the back of my chair. What are you doing, buddy? Hmm? What are you doing? Hi, bud. <laughs> Literally me wearing glasses that obstruct my vision. Such a vibe. What are you doing? Come here, buddy. What are you doing? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Can you see him? You walk by. Yeah. You take a nap. Yeah. He's so like, bitch, go to sleep. Can you see him? No. Oh, there's... <laughs> That's his little head. Oh my god, I wanna cry. I am that girl, literally. I love that, like, a lot of my ASMR girlies have kitties. Like, Tiptoe has a kitty. Eden's Garden has cats, I think. Um, Sage has a cat all get so distracted by them and now I am her. <laughs> I am her. I have evolved. Okay. I'm, I'm anyways, I do want to start off this video with a positive affirmation I made for you guys. Um I hope you guys like it, like it, like it, okay. <laughs> I made it literally at 1 a.m. Okay. So here we go. This is not a poem. This is just positive affirmations. I want you to hear that word. That was just cooking up. It was cooking up in my heart at 365 or 375, whatever. And now it is ready. It's been baked. It has been, you know, sitting out on the tray and it is now warm and ready to be served to you. Okay. So I hope that you are hungry <laughs> to be served the good vibes, good energy, positivity, baby. Okay. Here we are. Judgment comes upon what you do, what you don't, how you speak, what you say say how you live or you don't or you don't live a certain way or dress scantily or too modest smile too much told to smile more it's always not enough for someone or something or the world and society but you are human with your own human heart and it's beating song no one else can replicate they can't take you from yourself if you don't let them in or let them get to you change you because you are not something which should hide or destroy the beauty and the art and the significance and your individuality and character for a preference 
This video is already 20 minutes and I haven't even actually read a poem yet. Lo siento, 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 okay. I'm so comfy, y'all. Like, I hope you feel comfy and cozy because I put this sweater on because I was freezing. Freezing, 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 freezing while I was editing a video, which I literally stopped mid-video editing to come and film this because I just suddenly felt like I, I just should have felt like it. Okay. What, what one do I want to start the video?
the same as back then. The nagging ended. The trauma landed. The earth tries its best, and I try to meet the morning in tow. Maybe I'll start the motion this very moment. With your little attention, I hopefully haven't missed already. You've done a blasted good job of yourself. Coming this far, being this brave, kind, strong. I'm proud of your humanness. Your silly habits are endearing, and your life is worth learning. I wish I had known you sooner. I wish you'd heard these words more. I should have been the president. I regret waiting for love to come, and not being the love felt. I hope I find forgiveness, as you find peace and joy. The stars may be fake. The sky might be falling. The volcanoes may very well erupt the world in a lava crater we can't dig ourselves out of. But the memories I hold on to are worth something to me. In the least, I was once a kid. I felt the dirt under my feet, and I heard fall off my bike with my own body into the cement, but the scars remind me I knew how to play, I knew how to make a good time, maybe we're all just suffering from a rock in our shoe that's really found its way under our sock and it's trifling, and what once would have tickled, and what once would have tickled, 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 now threatens us to try to end it all, maybe we're all going on our way in much need of a break, and we're only the kid that one day woke up confused, where now you'd be scrutinized for running the streets barefoot. are predicted to be 
no one holds out or holds on so that time may cross its T's and I's on another night, allowing the moment to drag into an eternity. There on the northern lights wail in lost space, slipping, slipping, slipping between each other wordly sparkle and dark hole, till I draw breath no more, no more than the haunting death rattle, where all who left never know why they hadn't hesitated to leave me behind. But in my parish, will they wonder if what could have come of it, to relax a bit, that maybe being with me would have indeed been enough, been nice, where they rethink why they hadn't chosen to settle. Instead, they'll always question why their eardrums tickle, 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 as if someone was pressed to its deaf disability, like a prickly worn artist's brush flaking past the orifice without knocking to be let in. Forever a nuisance, my banishment from being able to kneel at love's altar in Ardency's church must be because I was never forgiven for my past life's atrocities, the only reason I could come up with to reason for my lonesome purgatory where a different me had it left right in a past life, therefore this version of me has been made to suffer and pay the consequential price. Instead of being homed in love's care, I reside in despair's lodge house, and that is where I saw my last sunset, last hope die in the crispy wood defiled at the flickering, flickering fireplace. But oh, how I didn't just give up. I didn't rest for a day's worth of pity. I worshipped the thought of belonging to another till it became my religion, till my starlight burned under inferno of displaced, unreciprocated affection, I, the supernova, wept. I passed away, knees burrowed in the floorboards, where I'd long ago allowed my rickety molded bone marrow be swallowed whole in the splintery confines. I shriveled up, shriveled up, shriveled up, like a dried grape laid in the sunlight for too long, my tongue licking, 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 without patience, without patience, without patience for the rapturous blood rain to subside my remains and its promise that in the next life I would be a single drop of drool decides the entire story of my enslaved reckoning. As fate would have it, my ashes would not regroup. I hadn't learned how to sew. I had the knowledge to, to weave my blood cells, keratin, and epidermis back to how it had been. My language had long forgot its root and anatomy, and that was the end. The after and happy didn't meet under the altar. My mortality became a historic structure of bacteria, love unknown to this union. A colonized, colorless planet of putrid soil born under my futile efforts. I, the vain man, slept forever, never to witness the northern lights with someone else's appreciation. What a dismay. What a dismay. What a dismay. What a dismay. Buddy, I see you. I see you. You're about to moon everybody. What are we doing? You want on my lap?
Always again. 
This one is called Gift Wrapped Cigarette. Gift Wrapped Cigarette. 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 Okay. Like a cigarette wrapped in a lacy bow, Lana Del Rey would have puffed that shit on stage. Nauseating coquette aesthetic, you remind me of a movie character. The one in those summer films where you cannot just feel but see the heat. See my limbs laid out on the 
torn from my muscles by the hand of a ruthless axe, laying waste to my organs and every little nerve of fear. Ready and waiting impatiently for the body bag to take care of my remains, one eye touching upon the frailness of my half-held smile. Three seconds of forgiveness, and I would forget how to lift that crooked thing to fit into its displaced perch that gets harder to reach these days. The longer this goes on, the more I begin to think no one notices because no one can. They don't have the time, the heart, or the energy to lend, and I am the cruel, selfish one for being miserable and needy, dying inside for someone to see my flesh aches and bone cries the way I want to be seen, yet never seen again, to be held, yet hidden from the world to the very end, to sob my lungs full of my own tears till I drown in their weariness, yet swallow back the roaring emotions till I'm a numb bum without reason of existing. No one sees me in my mind, my penitentiary, they'd hate to visit its forlorn dwelling, so I keep the same rhythm and pace, therefore no one mistakes my hesitance as me giving up. My burden is mine to bear, for my family struck me down the last time I crumbled at the altar of wretched hope in their wheelhouse, lost to oblivion in a bipolar spell of despair in heaven. I wish I could say I missed the right door, but I know its poorly painted image too well to ever mistake its ill-fated design. What I did forget was every other time I had gone past my hesitancy and was met with the door actually opening. I forgot to remind myself why I no longer seek out the place of my homestead, the people of my past life. I forgot to knock three times over and pray that those behind the wooden frame had made amends. I met the devil on the other side. He had devoured their kind heart. I can never give them fault, though. I was hard to stomach in my worst moments, and I've always known this. I was turned away because the people of my hometown, my bloodline, my DNA friends, they had not known to be soft to my ash form. And I blew into a million shattered, drifting dust particles across the nations. I was taught my lesson. I must keep everything in, for my pain is but just that. My pain, my sorrow, my hell, and not another woes to be bent backward on. I'm sorry to all for my sins. My beggar's wishes for more blessings in this life than my destitution was ever worth the patience to grant such wealth. My smile is placed like a half moon grinning ruefully like a Cheshire cat. Except I was lost on the funny and became the last laugh. Cheshire cat, Cheshire cat, that was Cheshire. Sure.
Empress, if she had caught them all within a life you fought for, your honor, where was the sin? He shan't be forgiven. However, he will not. something 
Like, you're probably questioning, 